What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a preview of a brand new tweak called Stratos. Now this is a really awesome tweak and I'm really excited to show you guys what it can do just to see what you guys think about it yourself. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and swipe up on the control center, we actually get app cards. So this is essentially going to be a new app switcher. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and swipe through that we have all of our open applications that are running in the background right here at our disposal. So if we wanna open one up, we simply tap on it and it opens right up. So of course you're probably asking, well, what about the normal functionality of the control center? Well, that's actually still there too. You can see that we have all the media controls right here and then we have all the toggles as well as quick launch and the uh, brightness slider right there. Now you will notice that this is cut off just a little bit and hopefully this is something that can be fixed before the official release, but really it's not gonna have any type of impact on the functionality of the tweak itself. But you can see right here, if we go into the settings, this is the settings for Stratos. So if you wanna enable or disable this tweak, then you can do so right here with that kill switch. Moving down here, we also have the appearance. So if you wanna change the background style, so right now we just have the dock blur as the background, we can change this to a dark, which actually looks really nice, I think. And we can move down here to common blur, which is pretty light. We have the control center style, and we also just have light. And I'm actually a fan of the dark, so we're just gonna leave it at that for the rest of the video. We also have show grabber. So if we toggle that on, all that's gonna do is basically give you a grabber right up there at the top. Now notice that we're gonna be able to dynamically change everything without having to respring the device. That's always a really nifty thing to have in a tweak. You also notice if you want parallax effect in your uh, Stratos tweak, then you can do so just by toggling that on right there. And then right here, this is where we're going to be able to change the height of Stratos. And we also have a graphical representation of how tall Stratos is going to be. So if we move this slider up, you'll notice that it takes up almost that entire second row of icons. If we move it down, then of course it's gonna be a little bit shorter. So you can see right here, if we move this all the way up, swipe it up, it's just gonna be a whole lot larger. So I have found the sweet spot is right about right there, maybe even a little bit shorter. So let's move on down to functionality. So here we have show running app and switcher. So basically what that means is, do you wanna show the settings app in the switcher if you're in the settings? So I'm in the settings right now, so I have that toggled on, so it should show the settings. If I toggle this off, it's not gonna show the settings, as you can see right there. So we'll go ahead and toggle that back on. You can also activate this via the home button if you wanna do that. You have enable quick launch, which is really cool. You can see if we toggle this on, and you can actually quickly launch the application, one of those four applications that show up right here, just from the initial swipe up. So you'll see if we swipe up and we continue to swipe up, you'll notice that those app cards actually shift up. So if we let go while one of those is shifted up, then it's going to launch that application, as you can see right there. So we'll swipe up here, go back to settings, and then we go back here to show home screen card. So do you want it to show the home screen? That's basically all that means. So if we pull up, then we have the home screen right there. If we toggle this off, as you can see, it's not gonna show that. Now, just a really cool feature you can see right here, if we swipe up, then it's actually going to ask us, do we wanna respring? So that's a nice little touch right there. We also have page per third of screen. So if we toggle this on, this is going to give you three options. So if we swipe over here on the left-hand side, it's going to pull up the control center. If we pull up in the middle, then it's gonna give us the media controls. And again, if we pull over to the right, then it's gonna give us all the app cards. So that's basically all that the page per third of screen does. It just gives you three separate options depending on where you swipe up from the bottom of the screen. If we go down here, we also have paging. So what do you want the default page to be? You can have it be switcher cards, the media controls, or the control center right there. You also have page order. So if you wanna change that up, then you can just take that little grabber, move those around, and you can change the page order of the uh, control center or Stratos down there. We also have number of pages or switcher pages. So if you don't want to show all the applications running in the background, then you could just limit this to two. So you'll see right here that all we have if we swipe up over here, we have this first page and the second page, and we don't have a third page because we capped that at two. So I like to have this on all. If we go back here and we go all the way down, do you want it to open to media if playing? You can toggle that on or off. Of course, that means if you're playing music on your media player when you swipe up, then it's going to open up directly to the media. And also if we tap on more right here, you'll notice the head developer being Ethan Arbuckle along with the Cortex dev team. They've done a really awesome job on this tweak and I highly recommend checking it out once it's available. So if you guys wanna know when this is actually available, be sure to follow me on Twitter and I'll be sure to let you guys know. 
All right, guys, as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.